solve problems on the alternating series test. An alternating series is a series of the type summation k from 1 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 times a k. It starts a1 minus a2 plus a3 minus a4 plus and so forth, where the numbers a k are assumed to be non-negative. If these numbers satisfy further that uh, a k is greater than or equal to a k plus 1 for all k, and if the limit of these numbers is zero, then the alternating series summation k from 1 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 a k converges. So the convergence happens under some rather general conditions. Furthermore, if S is the sum of a convergent alternating series, so S is summation k from 1 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 a k, and uh, these numbers a k satisfy the conditions of the alternating series test, then the partial sum S m, summation k from 1 to m of negative 1 to the power k plus 1 a k, approximates the value of the sum S with an error which is bounded by the absolute value of the first term left out. So the absolute value of S minus Sm is at most A m plus 1. A m plus 1 is the absolute value of the first term left out. As the first example, let us consider the series summation k from 1 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 divided by the square root of k. This is an alternating series of the type k from 1 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 a k with a k being 1 over square root of k. All the a k's are positive and they form a decreasing sequence with a limit 0. Therefore, by the alternating series test, this series converges. In the next example, let us consider the series summation k from 2 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 times k divided by natural log of k. Now we start the summation from 2 so that uh, ln of k is not zero. So this is non-zero and all the terms are defined. That's why we start from the value k equals 2. This is an alternating series again with uh, the general term a k being k divided by natural logarithm of k. This is uh, a positive number for all k, but uh, it can easily be established that the limit of the numbers a k, the limit of k divided by natural log of k, is the infinity. So the a k's do not form a decreasing sequence, and the limit of the a k's is not zero. Therefore, the alternating series test cannot be applied to this series. We easily conclude that uh, the series diverges since the limit of the general term negative 1 to the power k plus 1 times a k does not exist. For every other value of k, negative 1 to the power k plus 1 times a k is a positive number and these positive numbers increase and for every other value of k, negative 1 to the power k plus 1 a k is a negative number, and these negative numbers approach negative infinity. Therefore, this series does not converge. If it were to converge, then its general terms would have to have the se limit zero. Consider the series summation k from 1 to the infinity, negative 1 to the power k plus 1, sine 1 over k. Our task is to figure out whether this converges or not. This is an alternating series of the type summation k from 1 to the infinity, negative 1 to the power k plus 1, a k, with a k being sine 1 over k. We have to figure out whether these numbers a k satisfy the conditions of the alternating series test. To that end, we have to show that a k's form a decreasing sequence with a limit 0. Now, the function sine 1 over x is decreasing when x is greater than or equal to 1 since its derivative, negative 
1 over x squared cosine 1 over x is negative if cosine 1 over x is negative. And cosine 1 over x is negative when 1 over x is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And certainly if x is greater than or equal to 1, then 1 over x is between 0 and 1, and it is also between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. This means that when x is greater than or equal to 1, f prime of x is negative and the function is decreasing. Now a k's are sine 1 over k. And since sine 1 over x is decreasing when x is greater than or equal to 1, it means that the numbers a k form a decreasing sequence. So a k is larger than a k plus 1 for all k. This, this here we have strict inequality actually. And clearly also the limit of the number sine 1 over k as k goes to the infinity is 0. So we conclude that the conditions of the alternating series test are satisfied and the test implies that this series converges. In problem 4 we have to estimate the sum summation k from 1 to the infinity negative 1 to the power k plus 1 divided by k cubed with error which is less than 0 0.001. We do that by the error estimate of the alternating series test. In order to be able to do that we first have to see that this series satisfies the conditions of the alternating series test so that uh, uh, this uh, test can be applied. The series is of the form summation k from 1 to the infinity, negative 1 to the power k plus 1 times a k, where a k is 1 over k cubed. The numbers 1 over k cubed are all positive and clearly form a decreasing sequence with limit 0. Therefore, the conditions of the alternating series test are satisfied, and we can conclude that the series converges, and we can use the error estimate of the alternating series test to figure out how many terms we have to compute of the series to get the desired accuracy for the approximation. So the error of the approximation by the mth passer sum is um, bounded by the absolute value of the first term left out. That is summation k from 1 to m negative 1 to the power k plus 1 divided by k cubed approximates the whole sum with error which is less than or equal to 1 over m plus 1 cubed. Now this error is less than 0 0.001 if 1 over m plus 1 cubed is less than 0 0.001, that is if m plus 1 is greater than or equal to 10 or m greater than or equal to 9. Hence the desired estimate is summation k from 1 to 9 negative 1 to the power k plus 1 divided by k cubed. With a computer one can calculate this, it is approximately 0 0.9021.